Bye. <laughs> I swear to God, if he doesn't really put his headphones in, so I know he's not listening to me, I'm gonna kill him. Anyways, yo, I already tried this. Wait. 20 minutes ago I recorded the whole video and I did a ColourPop unboxing where I hadn't seen any of it yet but obviously I've seen it now because I just did a whole video that turned out really bad and um, I just tried to do the swatches on camera and it just, just it did not work out at all. <laughs> so bad. So I'll still be just doing swatches, they're just going to be off camera. but. Anyways, that was a really terrible intro. I'm gonna be doing a ColourPop slash Ulta haul. So basically, like a few weeks ago, I bought like $40 of stuff off of, jeez. Anyways, I bought like $40 worth of stuff off ColourPop because they were having a sale and I was like, I should do a video because I've been wanting to do a video for a really long time. I just haven't had like the right excuse, I guess. But ColourPop is awesome and who wouldn't want to talk about ColourPop? So that's what I'm doing. And then like the other day I went to Ulta and bought a few things and I'm like why not just throw that in there? So it's not going to be an unboxing video like at all anymore. It's just a straight haul. But anyway, let's get into the ColourPop stuff. The first thing I always notice with ColourPop is like the little notes they leave. They're super freaking cute every time they're handwritten. Um, mine says, hi Dexy. Others like paper or scissors, but we choose to rock with you. And it's just the freaking cutest thing ever. Please focus. Ooh, cool, it focused. Anyways, ColourPop is just like super cute. They're cruelty free and their products are literally so freaking cheap. Their eyeshadows are like five bucks and the lipsticks are five to six. Um, cheek stuff is eight bucks and yeah like that's insanely cheap and it's really really good quality so anyways let's get started with that I got four eyeshadows and they're mostly um, matte gray colors anyways the first one I got is girl crush it is a it's like a taupey gray gray color it's matte but it swatches literally almost purple it would be like the perfect transition shade for lighter skin tones um, it swatches really nice it feels so smooth honestly the next shadow I got is Bill it's a pinky it's just like Curl Crush but it's more pink um, I stuck my nail in this the first time I tried to swatch it on camera which isn't happening again but it's kind of similar to Girl Crush it just it swatches a lot smoother honestly um, it's more pink it's like mauvey dusty rose pink which I was not expecting because like when I saw Bill it was I thought it was just like a straight gray taupey matte color not pink at all and I was like ooh Kill Bill this is eyeshadow Bill from Kill Bill would wear which makes no sense but that's exactly what I thought. The third eyeshadow I got is another matte gray color, but this is like a true dark gray. It looks like that gray shadow from um, the Melt Stacks, the really expensive ones. Just like the deep, almost bluish gray. It's super nice. This one's probably my favorite so far. Like, good job. And the last one I got, for the sole purpose, the only reason I got this eyeshadow is because I bought a $18 eyeshadow from Urban Decay, which is ridiculous for a single eyeshadow, like I shouldn't, I regret it now, because I got this $5 one off of ColourPop, and it's exactly the same color, the color I'm talking about is um, Lounge, it's that super intense it's a saddle brown with duo green, duochrome green undertones or whatever. And this is the same color. It's called Partridge 
from ColourPop and it swatches smoother, it's more intense, it's easier to work with than the one from Urban Decay and not to mention it's less than half the price and it's just gorgeous, honestly. So for the highlighter I got from ColourPop is Monster. It's the lighter, it looks white in the pan honestly. Um, this on the skin is like a whole other story. Like it swatches like intense iridescent pink and I got this because of the comments mostly everyone's just like oh there's purple in it there's blues in it there's pinks I don't see blues as much but it's definitely I'm just like sitting here like mm. I'm excited to use that because they just said it was like it's really hard to find a good highlighter from for like pale ass bitches that's not like super gold or super pink but anyways um now on to the lipsticks I got I got three First one I got is Limbo. It's a darker reddish brick brown. Um, it's absolutely beautiful. The next one I got was Bumble and I got it because <laughs> that Taylor, I don't know if I'm saying her username right, but she's my favorite freaking YouTuber ever. Um, she was wearing this and she looked bomb as hell. Like, honestly, it's just like a terracotta orangey red. It's super pretty everything I've been looking for everything the next one I got is clueless and I got it because of the movie like I buy makeup based on movie references even if they're not movie references I just think of a movie I'm like oh no I have to buy it but it honestly looks like dusty rose from Anastasia of Beverly Hills except it was six dollars instead of 20 girl and it swatches amazing it's like the nicest mauvey pink color. I'm super excited to use it. Um, so that's it for the ColourPop stuff. Next off, I'm going to be showing you just like a few sh crap. A few crap. A few things I got at Ulta. First thing I got was this hair dye. It's obviously empty. I already used it. It's in my hair right now. You can't tell because my hair was black before, but um, basically in the sun it looks violet now. The color I got, hmm. Power Violet is the color and basically now my hair just looks purpley reddish in the sun and my roots are pinkish where they're not blonde where I missed them. Next thing I got was this like cute little package of Batiste dry shampoos in the fruity and cheeky cherry scent. First of all, first off, Kathleen Lights talks about these all the time. She says it's the bonnest dry shampoo ever and I have really greasy hair so I'm like constantly trying to not shampoo my hair every day because I guess that's not good for your hair but I'm gonna try these out in the packaging. Are you kidding? Look how cute. And it came with two. Like it was like free. This thing was free I guess. Anyways, um, this was like the most expensive thing I bought at Ulta is the Benefit What's Up highlighter but it's like a champagne stick highlighter it's definitely a champagne -y cream highlight it's beautiful I'm really excited to wear it and then wear a powder highlight on top just so the highlight game stays on fleek all day um, last thing I got from Ulta was just like this is so anticlimactic it's just a Maybelline mascara I'm running out of my better than sex from Too Faced and I didn't want to splurge on another high-end mascara and this stuff was good a few months ago. I don't know if it's so good. I used it today and it wasn't bad but I'm definitely spoiled when it comes to mascara like better than sex is the best and I'm probably gonna end up buying it again but this is Lash Sensational from Maybelline and it's pretty decent I'm not gonna lie but better than sex is so good and I'm so sad I'm running out. But anyway, um, that went a lot faster and I hope that turns out better than before. If you liked it, hell yeah. Thank you, I guess. Um, and if you don't like it, I don't care. I don't want to hear about it. So just go watch something else. Whatever. Thank you. Goodbye.